What's going on, fellow Rangers? Welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Legacy Wars. My name is Jonathan Snow, and today is one of those days because you hear the siren in the beginning, and we are having a new character, and that is the one, the only Snow Princess. Oh, let it go, let it go. No, not that one. <laughs> this one. It is the one, the only Udana, as you can see from Power Rangers Mystic Force. She is here. Um, she's actually Korag's wife, um, which is pretty interesting. She is the Snow Queen and the official White Ranger for that series. Uh, she looks pretty awesome. Her character model, it looks exactly like in the show. She does have her snow staff. A uh, really nice detail, too, with the little uh, star on top and whatnot. But very, very nice. Um, very interesting that they actually chose her. But I assume that they would because... You know, if you have Korag, you cannot not have his wife, and it keeps up with uh, the lore of the series, pretty much. But I have a few things real quick to go over before we actually start uh, the video. Uh, we do have a new league, as you can see. It is called uh, Zord Graveyard. This is actually from uh, Boom Comics. Uh, like, it's part of their lore of the comic series. If you guys do watch, uh, if you read those comics, you'll know. Uh, this is the part where I believe Black Dragon does come out and starts destroying stuff. So I believe that's what happens in this uh, thing. But we will be fighting in this arena. So you will get to hear the epic, uh, cool music that's a part of it. I actually really like it. It's pretty dope. Uh, you can see here, it is uh, 4,500. So the medals have changed as well. So remember, if you guys remember, the Juice Bar was at 4,500. Now it dropped down to 4,000. Uh, same thing with um, Island Fortress and... Uh, hardwood country they did drop in metals so um you know you don't need as many metals to get to those stages right now so this is the new stage we'll be fighting on this but more or less uh there is actually there's actually going to be an easter egg towards the end of the video so if you watch the video i'll leave uh a comment down below when you actually hear it so very just stay tuned for that easter egg all right, all right so also uh, before we begin, we're also going to have some PvP matches with uh, Udana uh, against Chris from Enway, so that's going to be pretty awesome, so stay tuned for that towards the end of the video as well. But here we go, we're going straight to the character now. Next is, she is an epic, which is which to me is pretty awesome. Epic is uh, a, a good tier for her at least to be in. Uh, epics are not as hard to get, and um, you know they're pretty strong, pretty strong uh, category. Uh, she is a balance type character. Which is pretty decent, and I do understand why, because look at her movesets. Uh, first things first, Frostquake is a spinning staff attack that launches enemies into the air with a cry cryo seismic explosion. You guys already know, these hard words are hard to pronounce. But it is one of her primary strike moves. Um, it's actually really, It looks really nice when we're going to get to it. We're going to see her their attacks. Um, next is Snow Staff. Hype, because, you know, my name is Snow at the end. Why not? Uh, fire a blast of cold from Udana Snow Star. Snow Star? Snow Staff to freeze opponents in their tracks. So now, we're beginning to be like Mortal Kombat right now, as you can see here. Uh, really, really awesome, because this is actually a new game mechanic. Uh, there's a freezing state, and she is the first character to introduce this freeze Aspect and we're also gonna see exactly what that is um, later on. We, we do test out the character uh, Then we do have Blizzard rush for her special moves a block attack uh, Udana transforms herself into a snowstorm before Re-materializing re for a defensive strike. So that's pretty awesome, too That uh, she did basically disappears into a snowstorm and attacks you which is pretty nice And then we have fury of snow Awesome, awesome name. I like it. It's a breaker. Turns opponents into a popsicle <laughs> with a freezing flurry of snow. So that is our main strong attack, and that's going to be really awesome to showcase. So here we go, guys. Um, this is the bio for her. If you guys want to stop and pause the video, read it real quick, and we're going to go straight into some training matches. Uh, she does come with an assist, which is a, a strike move called Cold Snap. Uh, with a flick of her snow staff, Udana brings the freeze. So uh, not only that, uh, her move set, she has uh, two moves, snow staff and uh, fury of snow that actually freezes you. Uh, her assist actually freezes you as well. So we're going to showcase that. And of course, 
I'm gonna bring MMPR Rita assist because why not? She's the kind of like the best assist in the game right now. And she actually juggles, so you actually can do one of her moves, which I forgot what it is called. I think it's called a freeze quake. Um, that definitely juggles really great. So here we go. We're gonna showcase a lot of the move sets now. And here we go. Let's do this. And move myself over a little bit here. All right, so we're gonna showcase the moves, what they look like first. You can actually hear, just hear the drum set. I like the music, it looks pretty cool. A very, very scary area. All right, here we go, Snow Staff. All right, here we go. She freezes you, so it looks like Sub-Zero's uh, freeze, uh, freeze uh, ball that he does in Mortal Kombat, which is pretty awesome. Uh, next, we're gonna do Furious Snow. So she knocks you back and freezes you into in place, and the animation continues with the stagger, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna do Snow Staff again freeze you so you can see it has a good amount of range as well uh, let's go ahead and do furious snow once again oh nice all right here we go we're gonna do blizzard rush this is actually a full screen move i wish i could showcase that here but i think in a pv ma uh, pvp match we actually showcase that and let's do her final attack is called not that one uh frost quake is her final attack and that actually causes a launch at the ending of the combo. So let's see if we actually could do a combo with that. Probably not. Freeze you. Look at that. The freeze animation. We froze her in midair, which is pretty funny. So we're going to go back into training mode right now. All right, guys. So we are back in training mode. And I'm going to showcase um, some combos now that you can do with Udana. And uh, first things first, what I like to do normally do is definitely do uh, Rita assist. It combos 100% well with uh, Frost Quake. So you can do Frost Quake into the launch up into another Frost Quake. Boom, look at this. Look at that damage that it could do. And uh, so that's definitely a really good move. Um, we can also do her assist. Uh, fun fact her assist is not a projectile. So you have to have a block. You need to have a block. Um, I believe I have a, a match on that also showcasing that, that you need to have a block for that. So definitely. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Snow Staff 2. It is not a projectile. This is actually a physical attack. So if you if you don't block it, you will get frozen. Which is pretty fun to uh, notate as well. Um, that's, that's pretty much a lot of her movesets. Uh, very strong. And uh, I'm going to showcase maybe a little bit more uh, combos that you could probably do. Uh, let's show some more of the freezing aspects of the new game mechanic that she could showcase here. Showcase some more of her combos that we can do. I'm gonna try to do some freezing animation on the top. So we have Snow Staff, which is what we need. So we're gonna do Rita Assist. Oh no, we missed. All right, so let's do her assist. And now let's do Rita. Bring her up. And then freeze her right in mid sky. And that's pretty funny too. And it lasts pretty for a pretty decent amount of time where you have enough uh, time to actually ex uh, execute another attack. So you do that into another breaker, and then you can do Snow Staff again to freeze her even for a longer, more animation. So definitely interesting. A uh, really good too because when you actually frozen, it'll give you time to recover some EP. So that way you can you know have a safe recovery before you can go uh, straight into battle once again. So now we're gonna go ahead and showcase some PVP fights that I have with Chris. And I'll see you guys there. Three, two, one, go!